Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back. Ragnarok here with part 3 of my Rome to Egypt Grand Campaign Let's Play. Alright, so let's uh, continue where we left off, which is uh, over here Speak. with uh, old Roxy, Roxana, and Pharaoh Ptolemy II defeated... Uh, I forget the name of the faction. The oh, got no event messages. How convenient. Anyway, um, took Aguila and destroyed a faction. Now we're just kind of cleaning up the mess of that uh, of these guys, the Sirenacha, Sirenasa. I don't know. All right, so Pharaoh's army, we could move Force Watch him to here. However, I think that's a bad idea. Uh, if we could get him in the city, it would be great. But um, if we leave him right there, even though he's in the zone of control of the city, uh, these guys can still come down and hit him. And leaving him in Force March means we are going to be ambushed, uh, which would be bad the one situation where they might be able to actually defeat us, especially two, um, they've got their, their queen there she's got war elephants and pharaoh does not, he's got the uh, lots of pikes so I think we'll just what we're going to do, I know we said we're, I said we're going to split the armies up and send her back this way but I don't think we're going to do that, I think instead we'll keep these two together uh, since they're, uh, they're full stacks, we'll keep them together and we'll crush this force with uh, just overwhelming numbers, I think is the plan. And right here, I think it's a good idea to get this going. I'm thinking that, uh, hmm. Just wondering what would be better. Alright, so basically what we're going to do for these these settlements is we're going to have libraries and diagmas. And then minor settlements are each going to have a granary and a cattle ranch. So one, two, and two more spots. Uh, one of the spots will be for an aqueduct, and then the other spot will be the uh, the temple. Uh, we'll put the temple in the main city, and I was just thinking, hmm, plus two influence per turn for your political party. That's only in the Ptolemaic temple complex. I wonder if we can build level 5, the, the level 5 temples anywhere, even in the minor settlements, or if we can build them elsewhere as well. So I'm just thinking if it would be better to get the stadias, or if we should go with the emporium for the extra, or if it would be better to, to put one of these here. Or we can even go with industry minus eight public order. Hmm. Yeah, I guess in the meantime, fuck it, we'll just build a farm. How will I decide what we're gonna, how we're gonna sort that out? But more than likely, things will be pretty uniform with our building for the most part. Ready for orders. Similar to how we're going to do the armies now. These guys, they shouldn't have any war elephants. It, so long as it... Thing is, we could recruit... Sorry. Could recruit a few mercenaries here. Just to get the numbers up. But I think that's kind of a waste of our... Our resources here. In this situation. 
do want to get some more of these agents in. Actually, before I forget, just position you right there and I'll deploy you. Got a little bump to the income. All right, let's actually let's transfer all these guys over. Wait, which? Uh, we don't want her commanding the troops, the main army. My lord. Probably this guy. How can I assist, this is the heir, no? Yeah, slice. He can't reach, so. I live to serve Pharaoh. We'll have this guy command the main force. See what the odds are. And then we can decide what the, the odds are pretty bad. Ooh, a skirmisher cavalry and citizen cavalry. Citizen cavalry might actually give us a hard time. The garrison is almost completely depleted. Let them circle before our might. As you request. Make Bring you up there. And you up there. For the people. Ooh, how much are these? 173. Range is only 125. 228. Range 125. What's the difference between these and these? Mercenary African elephants. We could pick up a couple of these guys, but I don't think it's necessary. We have three units of African war elephants here. The thing, the skirmisher cavalry could be a little bit of a problem. But we do have the artillery. Don't really need to worry about the garrison. I think we're going to be okay here. Although these... Mm, Yeah, I think we're going to be alright. Let's do it. I don't think we need the mercenaries. I mean, we could have picked them up just to... strengthen our lines. The key to victory here is just to make sure that we don't get these guys... Um, don't allow these guys to get any free shots on our, our war elephants. We should be fine. Otherwise, citizen cavalry might give us a little bit of problem, but I think probably what's going to happen here is they're going to charge at us and come at us and probably send the cavalry first. But I don't know. Let's see. Maybe they've changed the behavior of the AI to respond a little bit differently to the... Uh... Ah, damn it. You know what? I gotta put this back up. Sorry, last episode I had it down. It was a struggle all through the battles. I need the. Try not to whip it around too much. That seems a little bit too. too fast. Let's just bring it down a tiny bit. Alright, that's. Yeah, that feels pretty good, actually. Well, it does whip around kind of quick. Anyway, I hope that's not too disconcerting. Alright, reinforcements coming in right behind us, so we might as well set up here. And we're just gonna make a line around our, our blisters. Actually. Infantry. Infantry ready. So as wide as they can go, they can go wider. 
in that. How many deep is that? Alright, that's four deep. That looks good. Um, let's move these guys over a little bit. And then you guys cut off that side. Just cut off that side. And we should be Egyptian infantry! Should be fine here. War elephants! Let's get you in behind. Alright, the war elephants will keep them in behind for now. What are your orders? We might have one charge through the center. And then the other two circle around the flanks. But we'll see how things go here first. I don't want to ink send the elephants out start no off no no alright I'm gonna leave these guys on standard no round probably in future battles we'll be using more of the explosive round but oh you guys are gonna fuck over there let's get over here do not want these guys to catch us Let's uh We await your command Actually we'll line you guys up. So Ballista Let's go line up like that. Egyptian infantry at speed it Looks like yeah, okay, they're coming at us from that way. Alright, hurry up and get in position, boys. Orders, my lord. Come on and protect this flank. We await your orders. Texas, ready for orders. All right, awaiting orders. Egyptian infantry. Egyptian infantry. Double time. Alright, but let's just getting some shots in already. Skirmisher Cav. Got Citizen Cav coming up this way. Some more Skirmisher Cav. What in the hell? Didn't I tell you guys to get over here? It'd probably be better to keep the elephants together. Have them all come out to this flank. It's a little bit of a wonky formation we've got here. Did they just kill some of these guys, or are they these guys gonna get up? Okay. <laughs> Squishing our own units. How are we doing for Amrio? Using up a bit of it. Ah shit, that's not good. Skirmisher Cav could do a lot of damage to us if we can't catch them either. They use their ammo on these guys, that's perfectly fine. Oh, you guys are Elephants! worse. Why did you come this way? Our general is under attack. Yeah, that's okay. I don't mind losing some of these guys, just as long as they don't target our elephants. Back. As make sure these guys don't come back. Yeah, the citizen cavalry are no... Ooh, shit. Yeah, you need to get in behind here. Support this. Skirmisher cav. If we can target them. Oh, 
What's this, uh, what is going on with this unit here? One of our units has used all its ammunition. Oh, see, what is up with the... Alright, looks good. Moving around. Guys, turn around and shoot those. Helps us. Yeah, just let the infantry absorb. Wow, that pike unit melted. My lord. The men are wavering. What men are wavering? Oh, it's probably over here. Yeah, big surprise. Oh, these guys. They're just under a lot of fire. Is turning in our favor. Oh, fuck yeah, it is. Actually, I've been moving these guys forward earlier. Get into the citizen cavalry. Yeah, we took a few unnecessary losses here, especially over here on this flank. But, I don't know, these Egyptian infantry, that's their job, is to be expendable. Yeah, we completely crushed them. The balance of power didn't take into consideration we have war elephants. My formation here was a little bit wonky, but anyway. As long as we win these battles. Alright, good stuff. Get a battle in early. Start of the rep episode rather than at the end. But uh, hopefully we can get another battle in before this one is over. Yeah, the units are not completely destroyed, so it's not too bad. These are these are really great early infantry. A decent amount of armor. Let's just occupy. We fight for you, my lord. Yeah, I, <laughs> we're almost getting to the stage where I don't know. It feels like we're we're just about unstoppable here with all these fucking troops we have. In combination with those elephants, things are going good. For the people, my lord. Alright, leveled up. Oops. I live to serve Pharaoh. Alright, I think what we wanna do is get some more agents. And then next turn we can start investing, I guess. We can actually send this army up here to scoop this up. Yeah, we should um, minus 20. Oh, okay, right. Yeah, we're getting a decent amount of growth. What are we researching right now? All right, we'll get more growth. From that. All right, so the plan is once Libya is conquered, we move towards uh, towards Ethiopia, which uh, we'll take on Kush. I wanted to see what was back here as well. Yeah, that doesn't look too threatening. They have another army here. They do. What kind of garrison nine. That's nothing to worry about too much. Just deploy you, get a little bit of experience there for now. Now, yeah, we'll just mop this up quickly, and then we'll have to leave a garrison force here at Cyrene. And maybe even a garrison at Alexandria. And the main army will boogie down here and get to uh, we'll finish off Kush. This is the only main threat that we have left. Right. Um, where do we want to... 
recruit units. 584 as promised, 2303. I wonder. What do we got for agents available? So, plus 3% tax rate, plus 3. Plus 2% tax rate, plus 1 cultural conversion, plus 2 contra cultural conversion. Mm. All right, let's recruit you. I, I want to see if we deploy her here, what kind of difference it makes to the income we're getting in this province. Because we are making a lot of money, tax level, slaves, corruption. Hmm. Right, we might lose this. But I mean, if we do lose it, we can take it right back the following turn. Alright, over here. Can we afford it? No, we can't afford it. Damn, we should have maybe got the the hero first. Anyway, you're deployed, you can stay deployed there. Let's double check the diplomacy if I'm forgetting anything. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I trade with these guys, I don't think we want to do that. Um let's actually take a look at our family tree. Politics, how much longer do we have? Nine turns. To try not to forget about that. Uh. Alright, so last time we, we talked a little bit about the Nile itself from, uh, from Rosalie David's Ancient Egypt. So... North of Aswan, the river flows uninterrupted on its course, some 700 miles to the Mediterranean coast, although today it is interspersed by a series of modern dams and docks and locks. The territory through which it passes consists of two distinct regions, the valley and the delta. The delta is the passage through which the river has forced its way from central Africa to the north in Egypt. This corridor is some 500 miles long, and it generally varies from 6 to 12 miles across, although in some parts there are steep rocky cliffs on either side which descend abruptly to the river's edge. Daughter comes of age. Alright, that's good. Brave king, royal spy. Mission issued, the art of war, research technology in the front. Management call to arms. Swarm recruitment capacity. We don't really need that moment. Trouble populace. Over here, yeah, that makes sense. Faction destroyed. Tillis population surplus. Egypt. That's good. Hmm. Do definitely want to get this stuff built up. Kind of different. What are you gonna make? You can stand there. We're at 1,030. I will do what is best. Mm, yeah. Okay, so it doesn't stack. We only need one of these guys here, or one of these these girls here. Ah, uh, son of a bitch. Don't have enough uh, movement to get there. Are you, uh. Let's move you to there. Might as well keep you guys together. Get you a little bit of experience. I am going to recruit the hero here. Yeah, we're gonna go with this guy for that campaign movement, and we'll probably put him in 
We fight for you, my lord. Actually, let's switch the. Make haste, man. Setting forth. Troops over to his army. Ready for what can I do? Just because this guy is the heir. All right. So daughter comes of age. What can we do with you? Well, we definitely want to get you married. Hmm. Okay. You can secure promotions of these guys to give them keep the the parties in line, but like I said earlier, we're we're gonna get rid of this party because it kinda sucks. And hope for a better one in the uh the next party. Anyway, we don't have enough cash to do anything there, really. Ready for battle. Ready for battle. Can't quite reach this guy. Duties, man. As you ah, damn it. My lord. And stand outside and let's force march you into the city. Ready for orders. Heroes leveled up already. Now what are we going to do here? Change these trees a little bit. Not sure. All spear armed units and parent unit. I don't have any spears. Is there nothing? What the fuck? Is there nothing that gives us additional movement range? I don't like this. Where's the additional movement? I guess just this. It's gonna give us additional movement. For all spear armed units, that's not going to help us. The morale could be useful, I guess. Hmm. Minus three morale for all enemy units, that could be good. Historian plus one thirty plus I think we're going to go with this historian. Oh wait, there's the movement range. Plus 10% movement range for this agent. Does that increase the army's movement as well? We yeah, let's test you, it out. Lord. So that's his movement range now. We do this upgrade. Don't think it increased the movement. Oh well. What can I do Doesn't for seem like it did. Anyway, that's okay. I'm gonna get this guy in the army as well. Actually, I just want to double check something. Uh, can't open the skill. I don't know how to open the skill tree. Anyway, yeah, sorry guys about that. Alright. Public order is great here. Public order is not great here. How many more turns before this thing goes south? Eight more turns. All right. I think we'll just save this cash for now. I don't want to do any more recruitment because kind of 
a little bit uh, a little bit too bloated right now with our, our military costs I think we can get rid of these guys now actually replace them with uh, Ah, oh, these motherfuckers. Motherfuckers are making a move. Making a move. That is not good. Don't think there's anything through here. I go. I just want to keep an eye on this. this is where their forces are. It looks like they're sending all their forces up this way. Uh, bloody hell, we should have maybe moved these guys back down this way after taking this. We could hire another general here. We don't have enough for elephants though. And this will have to be okay for now. Oh shit. Bernice can can be a general. Fuck, that's awesome. That is pretty pretty sweet. We'll hire her next turn. Get her into the mix. Anyway, let's hit the end turn. Character still has on a science skill. Which character? Okay, this guy. I think we're gonna go with that. Don't mind going down to that. Anyway, continue with shit. You're supposed to be in the settlement. Alright, hit another end turn. In other parts, it passes through a flat plain of fields and pastures which provide a rich strip of cultivated land that can be farmed to a maximum distance of some 12 miles. This plain ultimately reaches the desert on either side, where there is a thin, clear line of demarcation. Demar Here, it is possible to stand with one foot in the desert and one foot in cultivation. Mission issued. Call to arms. Raise an army in the following. Treasury plus 500. That's sweet. We'll do that right away. Let's raise an army here. We'll do Bernice. Raise army. Maybe elephants. And that should give us the. I guess it's not gonna give us the mission. Do we have to wait till next turn? Let's line it up. Circle. Let's bring these guys up too. On the move, my lord. Speak. I'm listening. Proceed. I want to put you in this army right here. Military training. Where is this guy going? Oh shit. Oh shit. Uh, I think we're gonna have to disband her right away. Because these, uh, what's the garrison? The garrison is going to be negligible. Oh, it actually replenished relatively quickly. At about a third strength. Well, I guess that must be because of our food surplus. Got to keep moving this way. Alright, um, we're gonna have to disband her. Fuck. 
Uh, maybe we... Uh, maybe it was this region we had to raise an army. Damn it. We'll do that next turn. We'll raise her there. Ready for orders. To battle! Anyway... Uh, this one we're gonna auto resolve. Ah, fuck it. Let's fight it. Kind of in the mood to get some battles in. Maybe do some auto resolving next next episode. Just eager to see our artillery in work. We'll put them on uh, put them on explosive shot this time. Light up some fireworks. That way we can we can see see the damage they're doing. A little bit better. Where what's are the reinforcements coming? I keep looking for the markers for the reinforcements, but uh, that's in Warhammer that you get the markers, and then one over there. All right, so let's set up in here, right here. I'm sure the AI is going to be nice and charge straight at us. Guys on guard mode. Yes, commander. And let's put you on explosive round. Egyptian infantry. Egyptian warriors. Our orders. There we go, we'll go four deep. You dear. Stay right in the middle and then get a reinforcement. Oh one of the reinforcements. Actually let's As you wish. Actually, I think I want to set up right here. So, I think that looks good. Start it up. Boy. Elephants will come in on each of our flanks, though. The elephant coming in from over there is going to be way further off. Our reinforcements have arrived. Make ready. Orders, my lord. Riders, advance. Elephants ready for battle. Alright, where are our friends? Here they come. Let's take a look at this formidable force we have, and this is just a smaller portion of our army, too. I think I'm planning, probably what I'm going to do is in Pharaoh's army, we're going to put maybe eight ballistas and then we'll just support him with full stacks of infantry it's kind of what I'm what I'm thinking don't like you guys running these guys over fucking end up I'm surprised we don't get casualties when they do that infantry at your command quick march we understand! These war elephants are fucking awesome though. Pretty much unstoppable. There's a decent, decent force coming out of here. Uh, this might actually... No, maybe... It, I was gonna say this might actually finish off the faction, but I don't think so. Let's just move our angle slightly. All right, let's pick up the pace here, boys. So 
we can speed this up a little bit. Does feel really, really great to be back in Rome 2. Having a lot of fun. I know we're only an episode into, or this is only the third episode in the series, but I am having so much fun with this game. I fucking love it so much. But um, it is a little bit easier than, definitely easier than Warhammer. Nice thing about explosive round, it does break up the uh, the formations a lot more. But yeah, I, I don't know. The thing is, the standard round is more accurate, and it gets more kills than the explosive round, which is a little bit annoying because the explosive round is supposed to get a bonus against the infantry, which uh, it doesn't seem like it does. But visually, it's a lot more entertaining to watch the uh, explosive round. Yeah, see what I mean? How inaccurate it is? Like, fucking none of these shots are hitting. There we go, I got a couple shots in there. Those are slingers over here. Careful to stay out of range of the slingers. here from these slingers. gonna kick some serious fucking ass in this campaign. Ready to the battle is turning in our favor. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh actually stay away from those pikemen for now. Let's just have you go tie them down. Our general is under attack. Yeah, that's okay. The general is riding a giant fucking angry ass elephant. General is going to be okay. Let's break these guys up. So we're taking some damage here. This up. Let's get in behind. Oh, oh. Let's get in behind. Need somebody to chase them down. How about? How about you? Let's 
infantry ready. Ready. Here. Well, let's go. Yeah, we're struggling against these uh, this royal pikemen or whatever the fuck they are. Our men flee the field of battle. There you go. I just want to see this. I just want to see this last elephant charge here. Fucking fantastic. Fantastic. Yes, he is. All right. Should just about do it there. Alright, we got about 15 minutes left. I know we, we probably should have auto resolved that. But I don't know, I was just in the mood to see see some some slaughter. <laughs> I don't know. It sounds it sounds a lot worse when you say it out loud. Just a weird, weird thing. In video games, violent video games, I guess that's. <laughs> Diligent man, his wealth and experience continues to hone his abilities. We fight for you, my How can Lord. I assist, Pharaoh? Alright, what do we got here? Let's go with that. As you request. And we can also go with this strategist. Okay, so we've got an army this way. Uh, we can actually get down this way relatively quickly going through the desert. We don't really suffer a lot of desert attrition. We are ready. Move you onto this side. Ready for Same order. thing with you. Guess we can't do assassinate. Let's uh, sabotage supplies. See if we can slow them down a little. Good, good, good. All right. Hopefully these guys take this settlement, and then we can m mop them off the map. Alright, we don't need both of you standing here. Just leveled up already, eh? Ooh, philosopher plus four percent research rate. Four percent though is like nothing. How much on level two? Seven percent. Ten percent. It's not bad. And if we level them both up as philosophers, we'll add up. I think we'll put one of these in, in an army to reduce the upkeep. But uh, her, we're, we're going to make her a philosopher, I guess. Yeah, we'll go Philosopher. Boost that research rate. Her, she's probably going to end up in an army. Let's actually see if this affects the income. Oh, it does. Son of a bitch. Maybe we should keep both of them here in this province then. Damn. I didn't think it... I didn't think it was doing anything there. It didn't, uh... It doesn't seem like it was, anyway. Yeah, diplomacy, again, I don't fucking care about, really. And let's see. Well, I guess we've got to get. 
currently unavailable. Oh, okay, because she's traveling. How about you? Need more gravitas? Yeah, needs more gravitas. Alright, looks good. Do need to get armies down this way. Start moving down towards there. Uh, securing this province is taking a lot longer than I was expecting it to take. But uh, I guess that's because we're manually resolving a lot of these battles. Oh, I forgot about you. All right. At the apex of the delta, where the Arab, con con Arab conquerors later founded the city of Cairo in the 7th century A.C.E., the ancient Egyptians established their first capital city at Memphis, White Walls, in 3100 B.C.E. The need to control the Nile Valley to the south and the delta to the north was undoubtedly the main factor behind the choice of this location for both these capital cities. It's crazy. The Arab conquerors in 700, the 7th century AC, AC, so it's 600 AD, I guess. It's almost 4,000 years from the, the, <laughs> from the founding of Memphis to... I think we're going to go with military development because I think we're done the it only lasts for four turns but yeah we'll go with military development for now another son comes of age eh? increase in rank return home another child born fuck things are going good things are going good as far as the uh, the family tree is concerned, look at this dynasty. If only he would have lived, that would have been great. We've got another Ptolemy the Third, and Bernice is the heir. How is she the heir? How does that work? I feel like we should make Ptolemy the Third the heir, just because carries the family name. Anyway, let's, let's see if we can catch up to this army here. Why didn't they move? Why well, they just want to raid, eh? What kind of distance do you have? Alright. Hopefully we have enough movement. Because they're not going to stay and fight here. Yeah, we do. Good, good. Actually, before before we do this battle, let's just double check that we. Oh shit, son of a bitch! There was one more thing. I wanted to get this, but this only lasts for four turns, so might as well do a little bit of the military tech now. Can unlock the practice field. That'd be good. Minus 2% upkeep for all armies, that'll be helpful. Alright, let's do these two first. Just to get this started and take advantage of that, uh, that event oh, while it's going on. Proceed. Let's move you to there. Yeah, we could auto resolve this, but I think we'll we'll fight it. Ooh, yeah, maybe this is a bad idea. They've got those war elephants. We don't really, we don't really have any mobility here. Just all where most of the reinforcements coming in from. All right, right behind us. Alright, I think we're going to set up here. Let's get the 
pikes out front. I press on the fucking keyboard. All right. Wow, that was that was weird. I'm gonna set you guys up like that, and then Vero. Shit. Sorry, guys. I just want to get this set up the way that I want it. And then we'll get on the move. Okay, there. Got them in the middle there. I think we're going to go with three lines. Holy shit. I'm having a real hard time with fucking controls here. This group. Is that locked? Grouped units or ships right, perfect. can be set to one of several fixed right. group formations. Start it Select up. a formation you from the options presented to you. Move your mouse Move over like each one so. to see what it does. Alright, but I got it. Our reinforcements have arrived. Guys, the battle is turning in our favor. How'd how I uh, hate how that guy stays on the screen when you uh, well, when he pops up. And he doesn't disappear. Yeah, this kind of shit is the stuff that I really love. Bringing together these this many units. We've got over 6,000 troops here in this battle. Moving towards the enemy. And then once... We get the artillery and the spearhead of these armies. Gonna be fucking unstoppable. We're pretty much unstoppable now. With what the AI has been able to, uh, to throw at us. We'll just slowly move into position and we'll just completely envelop these guys. I think is the plan. Elephants are probably gonna kill number of troops but oh well if we could get this the pikes on them that would be fantastic guess we'll speed it along a little Get a little bit worn out. You guys are still moving, eh? Taking your sweet ass time. See, with the artillery right now, they, they would be charging at us. Which is always nice. 
Didn't exactly make this perfect lines here. You yeah, guys just nice and straight. This is a massive army of Egyptians. Slow it back down. General. Advance at speed. Awaiting your command. General. Quick march. So get a little bit of ground to cover. this group and we get you to attack does that just go straight forward Ready and waiting. guys get moving these guys are cruising along there. For the Pharaoh, strength unto him. Like men. He's to fight for X man. It's gonna slow them down like crazy. Can surround the elephants, that would be idea. Yeah, it would just absorb the the fire from the, the slingers with our numbers. Circle these motherfuckers. Why are you guys moving so fucking slow? Not the end of the world if we lose some units here because of those uh, those elephants. But uh, ideally, try not to. You, sir. Ah, shit. Need to get in here and do some serious stampede damage over here. See here. The enemy general is dead. Good, good, good. Oh, I don't know what causes that, but whatever it is, I fucking hate it. These guys here are gonna need some help, some support. Chase these guys down, get rid of them. 
that way. Guys, get in there. And there too. Where the hell did our elephants go? Where's the elephants? At? Oh, there they are. Keep pushing through. Look at this shit. Our general is under attack. Yeah, that's okay. things with Rome 2, the blobbing of the uh, the units. Bad. Should try and... Actually, I, I guess we don't really need to run them down here because... Because they've already moved twice during this turn. Or this is the second time moving. So I I think this army should be destroyed. Yeah, but no cavalry to really run these guys down. We lost 800, but I mean, barely with such huge numbers, barely even feel that. And especially too with the auto replenishment. But I think one of the units in the other army got smashed up pretty good. Oh, we get gold from the killing the captives. Slave captives. Let's release them. Get the most gold that way. Good stuff. Yeah, they did survive. We can finish them off here. Alright guys, we went a little bit over time, but that's it, we're, we're finished for today. We need to finish this off and then that faction will be completely destroyed. Though actually if we can assassinate this guy it'll serve the same purpose and get rid of them. But um, we'll have to leave a garrison here to keep public order under control, but we now finally have this province completely under our control. We'll send her back this way. And yeah, things are, are looking very good. We can now expand to the south. And our next target will be Kush. And we'll move right into Axum. And then we can start moving east into Petra. And then probably towards Syria, I think, as well. That's the rough outline. That's what the map looks like, guys. So, not a bad start. I mean, I know it's taken three hours to lock down this province, but if we just auto resolved that, all those battles, we probably may have been able to get it done in an episode and a half. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate the support, guys. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, give me your feedback. Let me see, or let me know um, how you guys are feeling about the campaign and. You know, if you have any advice or whatever, just uh, let me know. I'm always open to suggestions. So uh, thanks again for watching. Episode number four is next. Ragnarok signing out.